there's nothing like hearing signals from halfway across the world with a super simple receiver that you've built yourself. Especially one like this, which is one transistor, super regen on 27 megahertz. The only other parts needed apart from the handful for the receiver detector is an audio amplifier, which you can either use a popular IC circuit or even amplified computer speakers. This project is a simple super regenerative receiver covering 27 and 28 megahertz and maybe some frequencies either side. Here in Australia, I can hear Americans on 27.025, a frequency that's loved by high power pirate CBers running kilowatts, if not more. They don't actually say very much, but it's still fun listening to them carry on with such a simple receiver, especially as their signals fade in and out, only to be replaced by signals from other parts of the world as conditions change on 27 megahertz during the day. Taken from the Talking Electronics website. I put it together, connected an outdoor antenna, and now you're hearing the results. It's very simple with no coil winding. Instead, I'm just using pre round RF chokes. Here's the circuit diagram for the receiver. I've got the one transistor super regen section on the left side and on the right, really just a block diagram. I haven't drawn all the components for the audio amplifier, but you can use, I used a TDA2822, LM386, maybe even amplified computer speakers. Anyway, the super regen receiver is basically well, one of its functions is as a dirty RF oscillator that crinches at a supersonic frequency. I think it's in the tens of kilohertz. That crinching allows the receiver to have very, very high gain. Um, amplifies hugely, even more than regenerative receivers that just have positive feedback. The limitation of that is the selectivity is quite broad and it's also restricted in the modes that it receives. It's good for AM reception, like those powerhouse stations on channel 6CB, they're on, on AM, so that's fine. No good on SSB. Narrowband FM is a struggle. You have to turn the volume up. Wideband FM, it sort of works there. Um, the resonant frequency is determined by this one microhenry inductor there. And there's no capacitor wired in parallel with it, no variable capacitor, but there effectively is because if we trace this around, and you should use short leads there, 2.2 nanofarad effectively causes this part of the circuit to be at RF earth. And here we've got a 5 to 40 picofarad variable capacitor came from an AM FM radio, actually has multiple sections on that variable capacitor. I'm using um, one of the smaller sections and I've just put it in series with 22 picofarad to limit its maximum tuning range. That makes tuning a bit easier. Not that you particularly need it with a super regen receiver, but anyway, I've put it there. Haven't measured what frequency coverage it is. I'm guessing it's like 25 to 30 megahertz. Um, anyway, the capacitance here resonates with this and gives you resonance in that frequency range. The signal from the antenna is coupled via two turns of wire. I've used enameled copper wire that you can get from transformers. Just two turns is enough. Just use short wires to connect it to earth. I'll just show you it here. 
In my case, I've assembled all the parts on a printed circuit board, which I haven't etched, but the earthed parts are just soldered to that, and the other parts are just floating. Uh, transistor, I'm using a BC548. You could use a 2N3904 or any NPN small signal transistor. That should be okay at 27 megahertz. Um, 22 microhenry here is another coil RF choke that helps determine the cringe frequency. 33 picofarad here, a bit of feedback there. Um, the values you see in these vary, but I found 33 picofarad was fine for reliable oscillating. With a super regen receiver, the first thing is when you connect the power, you should hear a hiss out of the speaker. If it's not hissing, it's not oscillating, and the receiver isn't working properly. Uh, as for the audio, well, um, audio comes out of the collector. The one micro Henry does nothing for the audio, so, it's, so the audio is present here. This 2.2 nanofarad capacitor is quite a small value, so again, I mentioned before that it shunts the RF to earth, so this is effectively at RF ground. But it is still modulating, uh, varying at uh, this point at audio frequencies. So we've got the audio here tapped off, sent via this 33K resistor, which doesn't load this part of the circuit very much. It's quite high impedance at this point. Goes through a coupling capacitor and then um, is fed to the audio amplifier. Any stray RF is shunted to earth via this 10 nanofarad. I haven't got a volume control. You could put a volume control if you need it, but I don't think you do. It doesn't have enough gain for that. And I've got it running off a 9 volt battery. So that's my quick description of the circuit. Um, if you wanted to, you could make this coil a smaller value, maybe four or five turns on a pencil, just air round, maybe make this a bit smaller and this maybe a bit smaller. And you might be able to get this to operate on the FM broadcast band. I've done other videos of super regens operating on higher frequencies into the VHF range. But today's video is just about 27 megahertz. If you build it, you'll be amazed at the sensitivity as you just saw in the video of it hearing stations from half a world away. And that's just with my external outside antenna at my home QDH. As for the tuning, the selectivity is pretty broad. So once you set it to somewhere in the band, you'll hear stations maybe 100, 200, maybe 300 kilohertz of eight quite easily. Pretty much with this, the stronger signal wins. Not using much of an antenna just for this test, just a few meters of wire over a bush. But I'll go for a wonder with the walkie talkie and see how far I can hear myself just transmitting with about two or three milliwatts from this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen.
So that's been our look at a simple one transistor receiver. Have a look at the Talking Electronics link. There's a lot of information there about how it works and there's some other ideas. You might want to make it into a walkie-talkie as well. And speaking of walkie-talkies, there's a lot of information around on simple toy three to six transistor walkie-talkies that also had super regen receivers like this. Their manuals and circuits are often online, so you can also draw on those for inspiration. If you do anything like this, then let us know in the comments below on how you went.